If you read the annual perception, the corruption perception index of Transparency International, the center of corruption, at least that's what the international community believes, is no longer with the government per se, it's now with regulators. Nigerian regulators are now perceived as being the most corrupt part of the Nigerian government because they are not seen to be doing their job. And I'm going to give an example. If you look at a company like maybe the MTN, they are meant to be regulated by the Nigerian Communications Commission. Now, the Nigerian Communications Commission, they had an executive vice chairman. He finished his tenure. After finishing his tenure, what did he do? He immediately left NCC and became the chairman of the board of MTN. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. How can the NCC now effectively police MTN when the former head of the NCC, who employed a lot of the directors, a lot of the regulators, is now the chairman of the board of MTN? Not just that, you have the Federal Inland Revenue Service whose mandate is to make sure that people pay their taxes and if they don't pay their taxes, they are prosecuted. You had, if we go, Omoe uh, Okaro, who was the chairman of the Federal Inland Revenue Services, she finished her tenure and then went from being the chairman of the Federal Inland Revenue Service to becoming a board member of MTN. Now, how is the Federal Inland Revenue Service going to be able to regulate MTN properly and make sure that they pay the right taxes when their former head is now on the board of MTN? This is a person who appointed directors, appointed regulators there. Also, you have a former Minister of Information Technology who set Nigeria's policy for IT, leaving that office and then going to become a member of the board of MTN. Not just that, a former chairman of the Nigerian Bar Association becoming a board member of MTN. Now, that is the kind of thing that affects Nigeria's corruption perception index and makes the world think that, look, we are a joke when it comes to fighting corruption. Because you cannot have, it's just going to be like the, chair, the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria finishing his tenure and then going to become the chairman of a bank. That is where we need to fight corruption. We need to clean up our regulatory agencies because right now they are a cesspool. Maybe they might think that they are not corrupt, but the rest of the world think that they are corrupt. And until we fix that, we're not going to get the kind of foreign direct investment that we're looking for. Now, another thing I need to say is, according to the Transparency, according to Transparency International, which is the only body in the world allowed to adjudicate countries and say that who is corrupt and is not corrupt. The Jonathan administration was by far less corrupt than the Mama Dibuari administration. Under Jonathan, Nigeria improved by 12 places in the Corruption Perception Index. Under Buhari, we went back 14 places. So, I mean, you can just see, if they say they came to fight corruption, look, the last eight years were the most corrupt that Nigeria has ever been. So I'm not asking for a comparison. What I'm asking is what to do moving forward. And I did answer that, didn't I? About regulatory so agencies. Okay, is that, is that the only solution? That sounded more like you had a, a bone to pick with MTN. Well, I mean, why would I have a bone to pick with MTN? What would they, I mean, do, do I have shares in uh, Glow or Airtel or uh, any of the other agencies? No, I'm just a patriotic Nigerian. MTN is responsible for getting $12 million out of Nigeria every day. And if you're talking about corruption, you've got to follow the money. That's the rule about corruption, follow the money. So you ask the question and I answer the question, I don't have a bone to pick with MTN at all. Okay, just confirming that, you know, there is, there is none. Well, I, at this point, I have to say thank you very much for coming on our topic this, um, today. Uh, thank you so much for your time with us today. And thank you for such a lively communication. Woo, you are fasty. Thank you for watching and my welcome is a good night.